Hey everybody, Jack from AchievementHunter.com back again doing more Gears of War 2 collectibles. Today we're doing Act 2 Denizens, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The very first chapter, there aren't any collectibles, but on Chapter 2, right up at the beginning, uh, you're going to see the Rockworms come out. After the second Rockworm comes out, go to the left here, and there's actually this uh, kind of mossy stuff you can tear down. There's a bunch of ammo back here, and also on the ground is one of those magic collectibles we're looking for. So, voila, it's right there in front of me, and I pick it up. And voila, there we go. We got a Gears Journal. We got one of eight here in Act Number Two. So a little bit further on, this is the top of the big spire area. You just keep walking up and up and up. And once you get up there, there's a little journal over here on the ground. My buddy died. I picked it up though. Hey, look, can't this scroll yet? Yeah. Oh, and I died. Anyway, all right, we're on to Chapter Three to start bringing revelations. We've got one collectible in this level. Once you go through this big, um, I guess, elaborate. Uh, room, I don't know what it is, and with this this outpost underground. Once you go through it, on the uh, just in, just inside on the right side, there's some ammo, and also there is what looks to be like a uh, I don't know, like a locust emblem. Yeah, there we go. So it's kind of like a cog. Anyway, so we're on to chapter four now, sinking feeling, and we've got two collectibles in this level. Just across this way, this is an overhang on the right side. Just across there is a bunch of snipers, and this one's a little bit tricky to find. So anyway, it's a little overhang. You'll find it on the ground. Anyway, all right, so once uh, Cole comes and helps us out here, we're going to go through. This is after his little cutscene, and there's a dead body over here. And right next to the dead body is some cogs. Imagine that. Who would have thought? Anyway, so there we go. There's five of eight. Now, once we let Barrett out, there's his little cells and whatnot. Once we let him out, just walk down this little path and stay on the right side because there's a little overhang. And we're going to go through there and just follow it along. And we're going to find something on the ground because for some reason they love scattering stuff about like this. They couldn't keep it in one little simple place. But anyway, there we go. We're going to pick up. What is this? This is the Stranded's Journal. Jennifer. Oh, it's like Anne Frank, except not. Anyway, all right, so we're on to Intestinal Fortitude. We've got two collectibles in this level here. This is just after the level starts, and on the left side here on the ground, it looks like, I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, this is one of those things where everyone's talking, and it won't let you pick it up because that's a pain in the ass, blah, blah, blah. Marcus likes to talk. Listen to me. I'm gruff and angry. Rah, rah, rah. Why is everybody upset about me? Wah, wah, wah. We're in some giant Contra level. Anyway, there we go. Okay, so we picked it up. Voila, Cargold Magazine. Hooray! Okay, we're on to our last one here. Oh yeah, there we go. We picked up an achievement, by the way. So that's uh, Collect 20 Things. So we've got the Pack Rat achievement. Here we are in the very final one. This, the debris wall comes at you. This one's a bitch to find because it blends in really well. There's actually cogs on the ground. After that debris wall's coming at you, stay on the left side and you'll probably trip over them. And they're right there for me. Booyah! So there we go. Pick them up. That's 8 of 8. We've got all of the collectibles in Act Number 2 now. So there we go. We're on to Act 3 tomorrow. Check back at AchievementHunter.com for more. Thanks.